Hi, this is Craig Delge with Prolic here, and this is a review of the Marmot Essence Jacket. Uh, this is a lightweight rain jacket that one of our viewers asked us to review after we did our series of videos on the best lightweight rain jackets. Um, like I do with those other jackets, I'll put all the specifications for this jacket into that uh, product comparison grid in that article that we have back at Prolic here. I'll put a link to it in the description below if you're watching this video over on YouTube. Um, at a really high level, I'll take you through this jacket. It's a sub two ounce, or Sorry, a sub $200 jacket, sub six ounces, and it's very air permeable. Um, in the air permeability category, uh, in the previous video where I was discussing coatings versus laminates, um, I showed this jacket uh, and was comparing it to a polyurethane uh, coated jacket, uh, happened to be the Alpine PTE from Patagonia. So, very air permeable. I wish I could compare it to the uh, Mountain Hardware Superlight Plasmic, but we're currently sold out of those. But having played with all of these in person, I can tell you that I think this is even more air permeable. So where does this stack up? It's the lightest weight of the jackets that we've tested so far, and it's probably the most air permeable of the jackets we've tested so far. And price point, it's still competitive at under $200. So a really solid contender. Um, some of the other interesting features about this, it's got a mesh, uh, panel underneath the uh, armpit here and there's a slight overlap in the fabric. I'll give you a close-up of this so you can see what I'm talking about. But that helps also vent some of the uh, extra uh, heat that you're building up and humidity that you're building up under this jacket. I'm wearing it indoors. It's pretty hot in here right now. I've been wearing it for a while and that mesh panel uh, combined with the pretty kid air permeability jacket means uh, it's, it's actually fairly comfortable for me to wear right now. Um, some of the other features of it, it uh, has an elastic cuff. Some of the other jackets had an adjustable cuff. Um, it doesn't have the side pockets, but it does give you one Napoleon chest pocket. The hood is not a helmet compatible hood, but it's a really nice hood. It's three-way adjustable. The back adjustment is a Velcro tab. There is a, a piece of wire, or it's not wire, it's a plastic uh, a rod in the brim to help give it some shape. Uh, let's talk about the fabric. Um, my favorite fabric in terms of feel is the uh, fabric that was used on the Rab Spark jacket, but this jacket feels really nice and it also has a two-way mechanical stretch, so it's really comfortable. Um, let's see here, let's talk about the zippers. They're using a number three YKK AquaGuard coil zipper. Um, our preference is the uh, YKK Vizlon zipper that was used in the uh, Mountain Hardware Superlight Plasmic. Um, you know, 10 years experience lets me know that uh, those Vizlon zippers hold up far better than the AquaCard uh, coil zippers do. This is our number one warranty issue is these uh, smaller size uh, AquaGuard coil zippers. Um, let's talk real quickly. If you didn't watch that previous video where I'm comparing laminates versus coatings, um, there is some confusion, I think, in this uh, Marmot uh, uh, naming convention where they call uh, their waterproof uh, breathable fabrics Nano Pro. The Marmot Precip uses a nano pro fabric that's coated. This uses a nano pro fabric that's a, lam, uh, a laminate with a membrane in it. The difference is the precip is going to be a lower cost yet heavier jacket that's not air permeable or less air permeable. I don't have one to test. Um, this jacket is going to be more expensive, lighter weight, and far more air permeable. One of the things that Marmot does that I really appreciate is they include really detailed performance information in their technical specifications for their products. And this one, they're listing CFM information. In the precip, they're not listing CFM information. So that tells me that this is you know, going to be a more air permeable jacket. They're comparable in terms of water resistance. Um, what else can I tell you about this jacket? Um, I can't uh, give you a field test on this right now. This is actually a sales sample that they sent me. This is a, a 2015 jacket, but it's using 2014 fabric, so I can tell you kind of what's in the market right now. And I really want to thank uh, Marmot for sending me one of these to test out. I'm going to send it back to them. Hopefully we can get some more products from them in the future. And if I get uh, a precept and I uh, can still have access to this jacket, I'll give you a side-by-side -side comparison of the precept versus the Essence, just so you can understand that. The big difference in performance and kind of help uh, uh, demonstrate to you why one is more expensive than the other. As always, if you have any questions on this, feel free to give us a call, area code 406-582-0508, or send us an email to info at prolightgear.com. Thanks for watching our videos. Thanks for subscribing to our channel, and stay tuned. We've got a lot more videos in the works. Thanks.